Hey everybody, it's uh, just before 8 a.m. I'm tired and it's really cold, but I have to go hunting today for the new Garbage Pill Kid series. Now I'm not one who usually cares about new Garbage Pill Kid releases because I'm more of an original series guy, but there are a few exceptions. So let me explain this really quick for those of you that don't know. About six years ago, Topps put out a series called Original Series 1985 Chrome. And basically it was the original, the very first Garbage Pail Kids series from 1985, but on Chrome cards. It had some little extras thrown in like sketch cards, border cards, prism cards, alternate names, things like that. Um, it was a really cool set. I really liked collecting it. It gave me that feeling of uh, collecting cards back in the 80s. Shortly after they came out with series two Chrome. Another really great set. I really enjoyed collecting it. It just it gave me that nostalgic feeling. Uh, the wrappers were really similar to the original wrappers. Um, it, it was just a really fun set to collect. I found myself running around to um, you know different stores and baseball card shops trying to find these packs. I couldn't wait for Series 3 to come out because that's when I really got into collecting Garbage Pill Kids in the 80s, around the time that Series 3 came out. So Series 3 holds a special place in my heart. It's probably my favorite series. But guess what? Right after Series 2, Topps just stopped putting out the Chrome series. They didn't say anything about it. It just stopped. And now more than six years later, out of nowhere, Series 3 Chrome comes out today. And I need to find these cards. Honestly, I don't know that I've ever been this excited about a new Garbage Pro Kids release. So here we go. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. There they are. I can't believe I found them right off the bat. I really thought these were going to be a lot harder to hunt down. They recently put out a 35th anniversary series and uh, I had a lot of trouble finding those. I had to hunt everywhere for them. So I got to be honest, I was really disappointed with the packaging on these. Um, like I said earlier, the first and second series, the packaging was really similar to the original first and second series. And it just gave you that awesome nostalgia feeling. And they changed it up for the third series and it just, it disappointed me and um, yeah, just, it really brought my excitement down. But once I opened up these cards, that all went away. I was really impressed with the way these cards looked. Um, it, they felt thicker than the first and second series, uh, shinier, just the artwork looked great. Everything looked really great on these. I was really happy with them. Um, all my excitement came back once I opened them up and started going through the cards. So yeah, I'm really happy with the third series. I'm really glad I found them really close to already completing the base set. So all in all, I found them. I'm happy with them. It's a great set. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon.